Temple's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Smith versus Templeton. Uh, you all have been dating for four years and have two kids together. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ms. Smith, why have you brought your boyfriend to court today? Well, I'm honestly getting tired of being addressed by multiple females saying that they've had relationships with him while we've been together, and some are claiming to have children with him as well. And I'm just getting tired of lies. It hurts, and I need some type of closure. I want to move forward. And honestly, whenever he looks in my face and tells me about anything, I don't believe him. Even when it comes to regular things in life, it just sounds like a lie. So, Mr. Templeton, how does it feel to know that your girlfriend just doesn't trust you? It bothers me, but I try to be sympathetic and understand where she's coming from, at least. Okay, so what are you here to prove today? I'm here to prove that I'm not talking to, you know, talking, worried about no other women, let's say that. Like, I, she's my main focus, her and my kids. Yeah, I've messed with, you know, girls in the past, but since I made a commitment to her, I haven't messed with any girls. Ms. Smith, your eyebrows are way, way up. <laughs> you don't sound like you believe that he's been faithful to you. I don't. <clears throat> I don't. So, if you find out he's cheating today, what's on the line? Well, me and my family plan on moving out of state, and it would involve moving with him or without. I want to start new, and I don't want to move into a new state bringing the same thing down, the same questions of what I have here with him. So, you're already... You're moving. I'm moving. Question is whether he's going to be on the train or not on the train. Yes. And you're hoping today's test will prove that he's not cheating. That's what I want. All right, Mr. Good. Templeton, do you understand what's on the line? Yeah, losing her and my kids is what's on the line to me. All right. So, you all have been dating four years. How did you start dating? Okay, well, we met on Facebook, and we talked on there for a long time before we even thought about being in a relationship. Things just fell right. So, what attracted you to him? His sense of humor. I like to laugh, and I need laughs in my life, so that was a plus. I liked him as a father to his other children. <laughs> Just the thought of family, we had the same views of family, and I thought we could do that together with our children. All right. Mr. Templeton, what did you like about her when you first interacted with her? She accepted my goofiness. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I push things to the limit with jokes sometimes. And she laughs at it instead of like, oh, that was too far, or judge me for certain things that I say. She, she accepts it. I didn't have to change or reword anything. Like, just say it, and she's with it. Now, sometimes she might be like, oh, that was... But 95% of the time, she, she laughs. And but, we... but even when you go too far, she's like, that, she you went too far, yeah. but that was funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, a, a good woman will laugh with you, not at you. Right. <laughs> well, she'll laugh at you no, she... <laughs> no, You laugh with me. That's what I like about you. <laughs> She laughs with me. And, and Mr. Color, you know, truth <laughs> be told, you get a little corny, too. And I laugh at those corny jokes in spite of me. For the last 35 years. Last 35 years All we've right. been doing this. So we get that. We get that. And, and it was sweet, because she had this little smile on her face, a little blush. Yeah. I like that. All right, so you have this nice relationship. You're laughing at all these corny jokes. You They're know. not all corny, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> You're laughing at all his jokes, even the corny ones. How's that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> even the corny. All right. So, where did that all go wrong? It started with Facebook post. He started to like things women would say, like a woman would be like, oh, hey, boo, hey, baby, and he would like it. And I'm like, if I'm your woman, why are you liking somebody else claiming you? <laughs> and then eventually, when we were pregnant with our second child, he disappeared. I mean, when you say disappeared, he was gone like a couple hours. Mm-mm. <laughs> couple days. <laughs> no. How long was it gone? Whole, almost the whole It was pregnancy. about a year. Ooh. A whole okay. year? My whole pregnancy. Ooh. Almost the whole pregnancy, yeah. the... Your, your boyfriend disappeared for a year while you were pregnant? Yes, Your Honor. That's... that's you didn't false. try to call him? I tried to contact him on everything. Emails, texts, phone call, reaching out to people. I got scared to where I thought maybe he was in the hospital. All right, uh, so where do okay, you think yeah. he was for a year? Of course, I feel like he's with another female. I don't know which one, because there's been so many people claiming him. I feel like he's still married. I honestly do. I'm sorry, what? I said, I feel like he's still married. Still okay, married. Okay, why do you think he's still married? Because when we first started talking, we were both going through divorce, but I showed him my divorce papers. I'm divorced. 
I never saw his, so I don't know. Are you divorced? So, I've been divorced since August of 2012. That's not true. I, I don't, that's not true. What's, Ms. Smith, why don't you believe that? Because the talk of finalizing the papers, I believe, was in 2015. Ooh. And me and him both know we were married during the same time as each other. That, hold on. She is correct. I got my years wrong. We got married around there. 2014 is when hers got finalized in July, and mine was no, finishing mine was up. earlier than July. It was about April, May. My divorce was final. Okay. okay so... so you believe he was leading a double life? Multiple lives. So while you're pregnant with his child, he's still with his wife? I'm not sure if he's with her. He's with somebody, not me. How did you find out that he had left? He wasn't responding to me. I call him numerously. I would call him to see what's going on. Text, email, Facebook messages. We add each other on Snapchat. But he wasn't snapping me. He was snapping everybody else. So, so, so Mr. Templeton, why weren't you even responding to her? Because if you want to keep bringing up the girls and stuff, that's nothing I want to talk about. We weren't talking about us or you weren't talking about the kids. So it's like I'm not about to keep going back and forth. If, if go- people keep contacting me... How would I not bring that to him? He's my man. I want answers from him, if, not them. If you bring it to me saying, like... <laughs> All right, so how does he come back in your world after he's gone for a he, year? He came here after I had the baby. And, of course, we was... Uh, he got to meet our baby. It was a good time, good feeling. But he told me he was going to see us again when we went home, and then I never saw him again. And for at I least showed a couple up to points. the hospital because, first, I knew... I'm the provider for my kids. So she needed a car seat to go home. She needed clothes. So I showed up with all that and a little extra money. I had just became a mobile locksmith working 24 hours. I worked seven days a week sometimes. So I didn't get certain off days. I got my other boys. Who are you living with? Who were you living with, Mr. Templeton? I, I would stay. Is, I would stay with my sister at times or something like that. I wasn't just staying with just random... I can't just stay with random people. Like, okay, you said your sister or something like that. It's the something like that I'm, I'm wondering about. The right. homeless shelter what? sometimes, Your Honor. Sometimes I would go to the homeless shelter. And I'm referred to as a homeless shelter, too, when it comes to other women. Wait a minute, what? what? Yeah. What did you say? Earlier this year, a girl calls me and she's like, oh, okay, well, Deval, he called me yesterday... And he told me that he was in a homeless shelter all week. And I'm like, well, that whole week, he was with me. And I was like, so I'm, I'm the homeless shelter, I said? Because I've gotten that story before that he's been in a homeless shelter. I'm like, so is he with women, each time he says, a homeless shelter? If that was being said about me. Miss Smith, <laughs> woman to woman, mm-hmm. I am utterly confused. Yeah. You have been pregnant with his child and been alone. You gave birth by yourself. Why in the world are you all still together? <laughs> because it's not just that. Besides this, if you, this um, issue between the women, things was good. Like, he didn't do the things that he does for me. Like, when it comes to us, I know what he does for me. I know what he does for us. When I go to work, he'll give me a massage after a long day. They didn't get that, how they talked to him, about him to me. Okay, so, I'm like, but... I know he cares about me. Yeah, but you say he cares about you, but a woman needs to be treated like a queen, especially if she's bearing his children. I agree. So, you get a call from a woman who says she's looking for him, and she thinks he's at a homeless shelter, but he's with you. Yes. And so that gives you reason to believe that he's cheating. Exactly. Do you have any other reason to believe that he's cheating? Um, well, I've seen a bunch of Facebook conversations with him and other women, and, uh, I've had actually a couple women contact me saying that he's their child's father, and, of course, I want to know if that's true. So, these are multiple women that are contacting you? Well, the, the women, they, for some reason, the women have, born, like, formed some type of friendship with the, between each other, and both of them claim that he's their child's father. They say that they've all tried to do a DNA test. That some of them are, saying, are claiming that he'd signed their birth certificates. I, I don't know what's what. Have they showed you any of that? They you won't tell they me that. They proof of everything. Have they showed you that? No. But is my name on our kid's birth certificate? Yes. I just feel like they hating. Like, now they see what I got and they trying to break it. That's how I can always say I just feel like they just... They're trying to tear down something that they didn't have. Mr. Templeton, I hear you. I... But the problem is, it's all of these women, it's all the disappearing that has given her doubt. 
That's the problem. It's not a good picture. It's not a good look. And Ms. Smith still thinks there's an issue with your ex-wife that you possibly even still married. Do you see how this is kind of mounting up mm -hmm. to a bad picture? Yes, sir. And so she has a lingering question of are you currently cheating on her? How do you answer that question? No. Are you still married to someone else? No. Are you involved with any of these women that are hitting her up on Facebook? No. Well, to get to the bottom of this, the court would like to call licensed private investigator Todd Redding. Ron, would you escort Mr. Redding into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. How are you? Fine, Mr. Red. Thank you. You and your team have done a comprehensive investigation in this case. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. The first part included a polygraph test on Mr. Templeton. Is that right? That's correct, Your Honor. Your team asked him a number of questions. Yes, Your Honor. The first question that Mr. Templeton was asked was, from September 2015 to June 2016, were you in a relationship with another woman. That's correct, Your Honor. Now, this was the time that he, according to Ms. Smith, disappeared. What was his response to that question? His response to the question was no. What did the polygraph determine? Your Honor, the polygraph examination determined he was being deceptive. Ms. Smith, what are you feeling right now? I feel like... I, I want to... I've been trying to believe him. I don't... Like, at the same time, of course, I felt like he may have, but I didn't want to, and the fact that it's true... But, Ms. Smith, I just want to make sure you understood the question. Okay. It asked, was he in a relationship with a woman, not sexual relationship, Okay. So, that's, that's huge. That's a big difference. Exactly. So, what I want to know, Mr. Templeton, were you in a relationship with the woman during that period? No, ma'am, no. Okay. Only relationship I was in was this one that I thought I was in. Even though I was gone, I never considered us broken up. And I'm not saying that's what the... But, no. I was not... Only person I was with was her. No, ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Redding, did you do a follow-up to this question? Yes, Your Honor, I did. What did you do? Your Honor, I performed a 10-year comprehensive background check on Mr. Templeton. That involved, uh, between my team and I, over two states covering seven counties, every county that he and his alleged wife had resided in. And what did you find? We found a uh, marriage certificate dated back in late of 2010. Did you find anything about a divorce? Mm -hmm. During the entire investigation, and we physically went to the courthouses and searched the records, we did not find any divorce records. Mr. Templeton, are you sure you're divorced? Yes. I can see that you're hurting. Is this something that you need to tell this court? No. We had another question on the polygraph, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And the question that was asked of Mr. Templeton, since May 2014, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your girlfriend, Miss Smith? What was his response? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph examination determined that he was being truthful. So, Ms. Smith, he has been truthful about being faithful to you sexually. And, Mr. Templeton, I'm presuming that's why you have been so upset, because you have been telling the truth. Yes. I really love this woman. I, have, I haven't been in a relationship. Like... Nicole, you know I love you. Like, my heart is really with you and our family. I don't want to lose you out of my life, ever. It's, I feel like losing you is like a piece is going to be gone that I won't ever be able to feel again, basically. Ms. Smith, now that you've heard these results, 
How do you feel? I mean, I'm surprised, honestly. Of course, it's what I wanted to hear, but what was the relationship thing? The court wants you to recognize that if his divorce hasn't been final, that may be why it was deceptive on the issue of the relationship. Now, I've seen a lot of folk come through here. And I gotta tell you, this man loves you. And I really believe that it is all about you. But I would suggest to you, get off Facebook. Stop responding to these women. Because me and you both know they are haters out here. There are haters out there and haters gonna hate. And as we say in this court, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned.